Republican anger at Raymond Gilmore is plain to see on the walls around the estate where his parents live. His 61-year-old father was at home with his wife and one of his 11 children when three masked men went in and kidnapped him. Mrs. Gilmore was in the kitchen making a meal. She never finished it. It was left on the cooker. Two of her daughters, one of them present when it happened, say their father was taken because of their brother. He was arrested four months ago and has been giving evidence against his former associates ever since. It's no secret on this staunchly Republican estate that Raymond Gilmore had turned informer. Information he's given to the police has already led to the arrest of 42 terrorist suspects. And it's also no secret that the IRA desperately wants to stop leaks of information and re-establish their once impenetrable wall of silence. Belfast housewife Fiona Brown disappeared earlier this year in similar circumstances because her husband was also informing. Sitting with her at a Sinn Féin press conference after her release because her husband retracted his statements was Patrick Gilmore. Sinn Féin said then that his family was not in any danger. I was the IRA talked by father. And why? Because my brother's doing what he's doing. I hope. I hope they treat him well. <laughs> the Roman Catholic Prime Cardinal Thomas O'Fee has appealed for Mr. Gilmore's release to end his family's suffering. Today, whoever is holding Mr. Gilmore to release him at once every hour causes further anxiety, further worry, further strain, heartbreak, and therefore in God's name, let's end that period of worry immediately by releasing the man. But nothing's been heard of him for over 24 hours. If he has been kidnapped to silence his son who's in protective custody, his family may have to wait some time before they know when and if he'll be returned safely. Brent Sadler, News at 10, Londonderry.